All right, hello everyone. And today I will be showing you this mower. I never made a video on this mower. It is a 1982 Wizard, 20 inch cut, non-self-propelled. It has a three horse engine. Actually, I believe it's a 3.5, which is stamped, I believe, on the front of the block. Yep, it's a 3.5 Briggs from 1982. I believe I already said that. Um, anyway, this came from the family farm. I sold it quite a while back and uh, got like 50 bucks, I think, or maybe a little lower. Um, either way, this is my neighbor down the street. Why am I here just filming at their house? Well, right now, they're actually away, and I'm like, that's creepy. Why are you at their house doing this? Like, filming a video on it? Well, I have a key because I'm taking care of some animals they have, and so... Yeah, they don't really care if I make a video on it or not. They're pretty laid back. So, this is the more I sold them, of course. That's very clearly, like I already said. Um, it's in pretty good shape. It runs well. And I don't think they've used it in a long time now. It's been sitting. It's pretty dusty. And there's the John Deere. Yeah. It's a good mower. It really is. I liked it. It came from the family farm. I remember seeing it out there. So it's kind of sad I sold it, but you know, unfortunately I can't keep everything. Like today it was really weird walking up to it and actually seeing it. I'm like, I haven't, <laughs> haven't seen it in years. And for some reason, you know, it's super familiar and I feel like, why, why is it here? You know, it needs to come back home with me. You know, it's, not mine. That's the issue I have. <laughs> it's not mine, and I usually just... That's usually why I don't sell mowers. Especially the older ones like this. A nice old classic mower. Because I always feel bad. I'm like, I really want to go to a really nice home. The unfortunate part isn't. I want somebody that collects mowers to take it and actually take care of it. I know that may sound completely retarded, but... You know, it's... It's an 82. You can't really find them in this nicest shape. Somebody doing a burnout. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, it's like me. When I was little, we had a 19... What? Yeah, we had a 1986 snapper. We still have it. I've always liked it and everything. I've always appreciated it, and I don't plan to get rid of that one mower. But, you know, I don't need this one. That's why I sold it, and I have another mower I don't need either. So I need to sell that, but, you know, it's the unfortunate part. Because I don't want to go into a bad home. I want somebody that really appreciates it. I know that may sound retarded. Again, I don't really care that much about, like, if the mower's from, like, 2003 or 2006, or even that in 1995. It's iffy, because there's still kind of a junk old mower. Um... But, you know, we're getting into the 80s and stuff like that. And at this point, these mowers are hard to come by. And the 80s mowers were, you know, made better than the 90s mowers. Nowadays, they're just cheap crap. And really, nobody cares. It's just, I really want, even if, you know, eventually that person that would own this would pass away. Like, the collector that would have this would end up passing away. He'd probably get thrown away then. But, you know, at least it would have been in a good home for all those years and maintained and everything it doesn't really matter it's just an old you know earthly possession <laughs> excuse me earthly possession like anything else i'm just saying i want somebody to appreciate it i know it's again it's hard it's a lawnmower who cares but at the same time it's a 1982 you know and you just don't see them like that anymore old classic an old classic briggs motor not an overhead or anything like that. And it's got a nice, really well built steel body. Some nice, nice metal wheels with wrapped around rubber. Just good all around, in my opinion. I liked it. It's a good mower. And still is. They've been taking care of it. It's just. It sits now. It doesn't really matter. It's being kept okay. 
It's not in bad condition. It's not rotting in a backyard. It's sitting in the garage right here. This is, I didn't pull it out. This is where it's been sitting for, at this point, about seven months. They only used it a little bit when their mower broke. I sold it to them. Actually, I sold it to them a little bit before that, and then this mower just randomly gave out. And then uh, they took it to a repair shop, but they used this for like two, three weeks before they, that company finally delivered their mower back. So, yeah. I didn't get a chance to look at it, by the way, so it doesn't really matter again. I may have not even fixed it right. I'm, I'm not used to fixing riders. Push mowers are my thing. Because look, it's very simple. You know what's going on here. You just got a little tiny Briggs engine and or maybe a Tecumseh. And even then you just got a, a metal body with some wheels on it. And then if you have self-propelled, it's a bit more tricky. But it's still not tricky. It's just push mowers are nice and simple and kind of fun to play around with. And usually you can pick them up for free so you get free entertainment, you know. What's the issue with that? So, yeah, um... Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.